last time when we did the listening exam it was done section wise and we looked at what we are supposed to do or what were the different techniques and tips now i'm going to just play the audio and see what score you guys get the next task we would be doing would be a speaking task and then we would be discussing an essay from the book which has been provided to you i want all of you to move to page number 4 of the book okay sir i'll score move to page number 4 i would be playing the audio in the next 2 3 minutes i would only play section number 1 i'll see what your score is then i'll play section 2 then i'll play section 3 and then section 4 i'm giving all of you 2 minutes to download this book i score and go to page number 4 Have you opened it? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Tell me about the types of food that people eat in your country. Cambridge IELTS 4 by University of Cambridge ESOL examinations published by Cambridge University Press This recording is copyright CD1 Test 1 You'll hear a number of different recordings and you'll have to answer questions on what you hear There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you'll have a chance to check your work all the recordings will be played once only the test is in four sections at the end of the test you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet now turn to section 1 section 1 you will hear a young student asking the social organizer of his school for information about organized trips first you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4 You'll see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. 
Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? I understand that the school organizes um, trips to different... Yes, we run five every month. Three during weekends and two Wednesday afternoon trips. There are five trips every month, so five has been written in the notes. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? I understand that the school organizes um, trips to different... Yes, we run five every month. Three during weekends and two Wednesday afternoon trips. What sort of places? Well, obviously it varies, but always places of historical interest and also which offer a variety of shopping because our students always ask about that. And then we go for ones where we know there are guided tours because this gives a good focus for the visit. Um, do you travel far? Well, we're lucky here, obviously, because we're able to say that all our visits are less than three hours' drive. How much do they cost? Oh, again, it varies. Between five and fifteen pounds a head, depending on distance. Uh -huh. Oh, and we do offer to arrange special trips if, you know, there are more than twelve people. Oh, right. I'll keep that in mind. And uh, what are the times normally? We try to keep it pretty fixed so that, that students get to know the pattern. We leave at 8.30 a.m. and return at 6 p.m. We figure it's best to keep the day fairly short. Oh, yes. And um, how do we reserve a place? You sign your name on the notice board. Do you know where it is? Uh-huh. I saw it this morning. And we do ask that you sign up three days in advance, so we know we've got enough people interested to run it. And we can cancel if necessary, with full refund, of course. So that's fine. Thanks. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. And what visits are planned for this term? Right, well, I'm afraid the schedule hasn't been printed out yet, but uh, we have confirmed the dates and planned the optional extra visits, which you can also book in advance if you want to. Oh, that's all right. Uh, if you can just give some idea of the weekend ones, so I can, you know, work out when to see friends, etc. Oh, sure. Well, uh, the first one is St. Ives. That's on the 13th of February, and we'll have only 16 places available because we're going by minibus. And that's a day in town with the optional extra of visiting the Hepworth Museum. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, then there's a London trip on the 16th of February. And we'll be taking a medium-sized coach, so there'll be 45 places on that. And let's see, the optional extra is the Tower of London. Oh, I've already been there. Yeah. Uh, after that, there's Bristol on the 3rd of March. Where? Bristol. B-R-I-S-T-O-L. Okay. That's um, in a different minibus with 18 places available. Oh, and the optional extra is a visit to the SS Great Britain. Okay. We're going to Salisbury on the 18th of March. And that's always a popular one because the optional extra is Stonehenge. Right. So we're taking the large coach with 50 seats. Oh, good. And then the last one is to Bath on the 23rd of March. Oh, yes. Is Bath the Roman city? Yes, that's right. And that's in the 16-seater minibus. And where's the optional visit? American Museum. Well worth a visit. Okay, well, that's great. Um, thanks for all that. My pleasure. Oh, by the way, if you want more information about any of the trips, have a look in the student newspaper. Okay. Or have a word with my assistant. Her name is Jane Yentob. That's 
Y E N T O B. Right, I've got that. Thank you very much for all your help. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy the trip. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Okay, I'm going to give you the answers for section number one. Number one is shopping or variety of shopping. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Number two is guided tours. Number two is guided tours. Number three is more than twelve. More than twelve or over twelve. Number four, notice board. Yes, sir. Number four is notice board. Number five, thirteenth February. Five, thirteenth February. Yes, sir. Number six, Tower of London. Sir, do one more time, please. Number six is Tower of London. Tower of London. Oh. Okay, seven, Bristol. Yes, sir. B R I S T. B R I S T O L. Number eight, American Museum. Yes, sir. Number eight is American Museum. Number nine, student newspaper. Nine, student newspaper. Number ten, Yen Top. Number ten, Yen Top. Okay, Mr. Fizan, what was your score out of ten? Sir, eight. Okay, Mr. Faraz. Six, sir. Okay, Ms. Sobia. Sir, seven. Uh, Ms. Aisha. Sir, eight. Okay, Mr. Ahmed Bajwa. Sir, eight. Okay. Ms. Nimra. Ms. Tessin. Six. Six. Mr. Janzeev. I think he just joined. Okay, let's move to the next section. But before you move to the next section, let's have a look at this type of question because this is the first time. I believe you would be doing a question which is pertaining to labeling a diagram. Please have a look at questions 11 to 13. We have done this type of question, right? In which you have to fill in the blanks, right? Yes, sir. Now, if, yes, you, look sir. At, if you look at questions 14 to 20, you can see that you have to label the plan below you have to write the, write these down in the chronological order which means whenever they give you a map it is always going to be in the order which means 14 will come first then 15 then 16 17 18 19 and 20 it is not going to be it is not going to be 17 first then 18 16 15 20 it's going to be first what 14, then 15, then 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, sir. Ek aur cheez na aap log ke saath clarify kar dhu. Ke jab ye course khatam bhi ho jayega, to jab aapka, aapne writing task aapne bhej me hai, wo na aapke check karta raha hoonga. Aapne se jiska bhi exam zara jaldi ho raha hoonga, or wo speaking ka exam haar hafte karna chate hai, unke bhi mein speaking ka exam karta raha hoonga. Thursday, we 
हम ऑफिशियली हमारा कोर्स एंड होगा मगर मैं जो आपको जो क्विजेस जो मैंने आपको ट्वेंटी दिए हुए हैं उनकी मैंने फेसबुक के ऊपर वीडियोस बनानी है वो ईद के बाद मैं आपकी अपलोड करने लग जाऊंगा मगर अब मैंने आप लोगों से यही पूछना था कि हम जूम की क्लास में कल का रख लें या थर्सडे का रख लें कि हम अगले पांच से दस क्विजेस कर लें कल का रख लें या थर्सडे ठीक है ओके आल्सो ठीक है कल थर्सडे का रख लें थर्सडे ठीक है सर थर्सडे यस सर थर्सडे ठीक है थर्सडे को सात बजे है क्लास ये आठ सेवन ओ क्लॉक ये आठ ठीक है सर आठ एट ओ क्लॉक सही है सर ठीक है ऑन थर्सडे इट वुड बी एट एट और थर्सडे को मैंने फिर से राइटिंग टास्क का एक पूरा एक वो फिर से समराइज भी करना है ओके सर Let's continue. And yes, tomorrow's class. Um, आप जो अकेडमिक या जनरल में वो ग्रुप में पूछ लूंगा क्योंकि कल वाली क्लास में मुझे पहले मुझे दो सेक्शन में उसको डिवाइड करना पड़ेगा एक क्लास में आठ बजे स्टार्ट करूंगा दूसरी में नाइन थर्टी स्टार्ट करूंगा अकेडमिक और जनरल ट्रेनिंग टास्क वन जो है वो मैंने सेपरेटली कराने का ओके सर लेट्स कंटिन्यू या वो मैं देख लूंगा किसी और दिन पे कर लें डिफरेंट दिनों पे कर लें बट आई जस्ट टेल यू ओके लेट्स मूव टू सेक्शन टू स्टार्ट दी सेक्शन टू यू विल हियर अ टूर गाइड गिविंग अ टॉक अबाउट अ म्यूजियम सेंटर कॉल्ड रिवरसाइड इंडस्ट्रियल विलेज फर्स्ट यू हैव सम टाइम टू लुक एट क्वेश्चंस 11 टू 13 Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 13. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Riverside Industrial Village. To start your visit, I'm just going to give you a brief account of the history of the museum before letting you roam about on your own. I won't keep you long, okay? Now, from where we're standing, you've got a good view of the river over there. and it was because of this fast flowing water that this site was a natural place for manufacturing works the water and the availability of raw materials in the area like minerals and iron ore and also the abundance of local fuels like coal and firewood all made this site suitable for industry from a very early time water was the main source of power for the early industries and some of the water wheels were first established in the 12th century would you believe at that time local craftsmen first built an iron forge just behind the village here on the bend in the river by the 17th and 18th centuries the region's rivers supported more than 160 water mills and many of these continued to operate well into the 19th century but then the steam engine was invented and then the railways came and the centers of industry were able to move away from the rivers and the countryside and into the towns so industrial villages like this one became very rare so that's the history for you if you'd like any more information you can ask me some questions or you can read further in our excellent guidebook before you hear the rest of the talk You have some time to look at questions 14 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 14 to 20. Now I'm going to give you a plan of the site and I'd just like to point out where everything is and then you can take a look at everything for yourself. I've already pointed out the river which is on the left and of course 
running along the bottom is Woodside Road. Got it? Okay, now we're standing at the entrance. See it at the bottom? And immediately to our right is the ticket office. You won't need that because you've got your group booking. But just past it are the toilets. Always good to know where they are. In front of us is the car park, as you can see. And to the left, by the entry gate, is the gift shop. That's where you can get copies of the guide, like this one here. Now, beyond the car park, all the buildings are arranged in a half circle with a yard in the middle. The big stone building at the top is the main workshop. That's where the furnace is and where all the metal was smelted and the tools were cast, as you'll be able to see. Now, in the top right-hand corner, that building with bigger windows is the showroom, where samples of all the tools that were made through the ages are on display. In the top left corner is the grinding shop, where the tools were sharpened and finished. And on one side of that, you can see the engine room, and on the other is the cafe, which isn't an antique, you'll be pleased to know, though they do serve very nice old-fashioned teas. The row of buildings you can see on the left are the cottages. These were built for the workers towards the end of the 18th century, and they're still furnished from that period, so you can get a good idea of ordinary people's living conditions. Across the yard from them, you can see the stables, where the horses were kept for transporting the products. And the separate building in front of them is the works office, and that still has some of the old accounts on display. Right, if anyone wants a guided tour, then I'm starting at the engine room. If you'd like to come along this way, please, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Number 12 is local craftsmen. Yes, sir. 13 is 160. Yes, sir. 14, wood side. No, sir. The good side of wood, wood. Wood side. Wood side. 15, ticket office. Yes, sir. 16, gift shop. Yes, sir. 17, main okay. workshop. No, sir. Workshop. 18. Showroom. Yes, sir. 19. Cafe. Yes, sir. 20. Cottages. Yes, sir. Okay. Calculate your score. Mr. Fizan. Seven. Mr. Fizan, score? Sir, six, sir. Okay. Uh, Ms. Sobia? Number six. Ms. Samus Bajwa? Sir, five. I was cut too easy, sir. So much in the morning. Ms. Aisha? Sir, so six. Mr. Uh, Ms. Nimra? Mr. Seen? Sir, 6. Okay, where did you cut it from? Sir, first, I didn't play it on the 14th. I think it was on the 14th. And the first three, I mean, 11 to... I mean, 
time to look at the diagram wale portion mein aaya isko kar Now listen and answer questions 14 to 20. Now I'm going to give you a plan of the site and I'd just like to point out where everything is and then you can take a look at everything for yourself. I've already pointed out the river which is on the left and of course running along the bottom is Woodside Road. Got it? Okay now we're standing at the entrance. See it at the bottom? And immediately to our right is the ticket office. You won't need that because you've got your group booking. But just past it are the toilets. Always good to know where they are. In front of us is the car park, as you can see. And to the left, by the entry gate, is the gift shop. That's where you can get copies of the guide, like this one here. Now, beyond the car park, all the buildings are arranged in a half circle with a yard in the middle. The big stone building at the top is the main workshop. That's where the furnace is and where all the metal was smelted and the tools were cast, as you'll be able to see. Now, in the top right-hand corner, that building with bigger windows is the showroom, where samples of all the tools that were made through the ages are on display. In the top left corner is the grinding shop, where the tools were sharpened and finished. And on one side of that, you can see the engine room, and on the other is the cafe, which isn't an antique, you'll be pleased to know, though they do serve very nice old-fashioned teas. The row of buildings you can see on the left are the cottages. These were built for the workers towards the end of the 18th century, and they're still furnished from that period. <coughs> you can get a good idea of ordinary people's living conditions. Across the yard from them, you can see the stables, where the horses were kept for transporting the products. And the separate building in front of them is the works office, and that still has some of the old accounts on display. Right, if anyone wants a guided tour, then I'm starting at the engine room. If you'd like to come along this way, please, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of section. Got it yes, yes, sir. I have exams. So I have told you that you have to do at least 15 to 20 before you can reach to your potential. After doing at least 30 to 40 listening exams, you will reach to the potential of scoring well. अगर आप किसी से भी आइट्स का पूछें या किसी का रिजल्ट देखें तो जिसका भी स्कोर बेहतर होता है लिसनिंग उस इंसान का स्कोर बहुत ज्यादा ऊपर ले जाता है सो नाउ इन इन केस यू वांट टू स्कोर वेल यू हैव टू डू एटलीस्ट 30 टू 40 एग्जाम्स और अभी आप जैसे ये आपके किसी के 6 आ रहे हैं किसी के 7 आ रहे हैं 8 आ रहे हैं जब आप 20 एग्जाम्स कर लेंगे उसके बाद आपका ये स्कोर ऐसा नहीं आया करेगा आपके 9 या 10 ही आया करेंगे बिकॉज़ this is the only task which improves with practice. Writing ke liye aapko skill development chahiye. Speaking ke liye skill development chahiye. Reading ke liye bhi chahiye. Listening, jitni zyada aap karte rehenge, aap sunne mein better ho jayenge, aapka, aapko pata lagne lag jayega, ki yahaan pe ab answer a jayega, ab answer a jayega. To wo kende se hi better ho jayega. Now let's move. Sir, I have a question please. Sir, I have a question. Please tell me. Sir, you have said that listening, I mean, the more you do it, the more you do it, the more you do it. Sir, there is one listening that you have told that you can see the season, etc. Are you focusing on that or are you focusing on listening exams? If we do exams, then we will gradually 
मैं बताता हूँ ये दोनों चीजें यू हैव टू डू देम साइमिलटेनियसली ओके सर बड़ा सिंपल सेट अगर आपने पहली बार लिसनिंग का एग्जाम दिया है और आपका स्कोर 20 आउट ऑफ 40 है तो ये मैं क्लास में भी बताता हूं कि जब तक आप एकेडमी से कोर्स कर चुके होंगे आपका स्कोर 30 आउट ऑफ 40 हो चुका होगा सिर्फ एग्जाम करने से ओके सर अगर आप सीजंस भी नहीं देख रहे मूवीज भी नहीं देख रहे आपके 10 मार्क्स की इंप्रूवमेंट 100% होती है ये मैं अपने तौर पे नहीं बना रहा ये मैं रीडिंग के बारे में भी कह सकता था मैं रीडिंग के बारे में नहीं कहूंगा listening it by the it is the only module in which people can have drastic improvement because it is interesting aapne dekha hoga duniya ye abhi aap logon ko listening isliye acha nahi lag raha kyunki hum classroom mein nahi hai aapko apne taur pe ye karna pad raha hai warna class mein ya to hum listening karte hain ya fir main wo exam har din deta hu ki students kar sake ab jo listening ka exam hai uske andar if you are going for general training you require eight If you're going for academic, आपका स्कोर कैसे पूरा ओवरऑल बढ़ सकता है सबसे ज्यादा लिस्निंग एक हाई स्कोरिंग मॉड्यूल है इन केस यू वर्क ऑन इट यू विल एंड अप वेरी गुड ओवरऑल स्कोर इन योर आईज ओके सर लेट्स मूव टू सेक्शन थ्री थ्री First, you have some time to look at questions twenty-one to twenty-seven. Now listen carefully and answer questions twenty-one to twenty-seven. Excuse me, Dr. Johnson. May I speak to you for a minute? Sure, come in. I'm Melanie Griffin. I'm taking your course in population studies. Right. Uh, well, Melanie, how can I help you? I'm having a bit of trouble with a second assignment, and it's due in twelve days. What sort of trouble are you having? Is the assignment question a problem? Well, that's part of the problem. I'm also having I've been having trouble getting hold of the books. I've been to the library several times and all the books are out. Sounds like you should have started borrowing books a bit earlier. Well, I had a really big assignment due in for another course and I've been spending all my time on that. I thought uh you might get an extension of time to finish your assignment for me. If that's possible, but I don't know. If... Well, yes, it is possible, but uh Extensions are normally given only for medical or compassionate reasons. Otherwise, that's really a question of organizing your study, and we don't like giving extensions to students who simply didn't plan their work properly. Uh, what did you get for your first assignment? I got eighty-seven percent. Hmm. Yes, you did very well indeed. So obviously, you can produce good work. I don't think I'll need too much extra time, as long as I can get hold of some of the important references. Well, since you did so well in your first assignment, I'm prepared to give you an extra two weeks for this one. So that'll mean you'll need to submit it about a month from now. Oh, thank you. Now, what about the reading materials? Have you checked out the journal articles in the list? Um, uh, no, not yet. There were about. Twenty of them, and I wasn't sure which ones would be most useful or, or important. Well, they're all useful, but I don't expect anyone to read them all because a number of them deal with the same issues. Uh, let me give you some suggestions. The article by Anderson and Hawker is really worth reading. Right, I'll read that one. You should also read the article by Jackson, uh, but just look at the part on the research methodology, how they did it. Okay. Jackson, got that. And if you have time, the one by Roberts says very relevant things, although it's not essential. So, okay, if it's useful, I'll try and read that one. Well, the one by Morris, uh, I wouldn't bother with that at this stage if I were you. Okay, I won't bother with Morris. Oh, now 
Someone told me the article by Cooper is important. Well, yes, in a way. But just look at the last part where he discusses the research results. And uh, lastly, there's Forster. I can't think why I included that one. It's not bad and could be of some help, but not that much. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 28 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 28 to 30. Now let's deal with the assignment question. Uh, what's the problem there? It's the graph on page two. What well, seems to be the problem? It's just the bar graph showing reasons why people change where they live. Well, I've got a photocopy, but the reasons at the bottom are missing. Ah, okay. Uh, look at the first bar on the graph. Mm -hmm. Now that indicates the number of people who move because they want more space. Oh, I see. Bar one. Okay, now what about the next bar? Bar two is to do with the people living nearby, disturbing them. So they chose to move away to somewhere quieter. Now let's look at bar number three. Another reason people change their place of living is because they want to be closer to the city. Okay, proximity to the city is an issue. Now, bar number four refers to problems when the owner of the property won't help fix things that go wrong. In other words, the owner is not helpful, and so the tenants move out. Okay. Now, what about bar five? Uh, bar five is about those people who move because they need a bus or train to get them into the city or to go to work. Okay. And bar six? Bar number six is interesting. That reason was given quite a lot. People moving because they wanted to be in a more attractive neighborhood. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Twenty one is A. Twenty two C. Twenty three E. Twenty four B. Twenty five G. Twenty six F. Twenty seven C. Twenty eight D. 29A, 30B. No, sir, 30D. 30B, B for boy. B, yeah, okay. Calculate your score. So, 8. Ready that uh, the answer is coming and the audio Okay, Mr. Faraz, good. Six is sir. Six is sir. Distortion both is sir. Yes, the internet problem. Miss Tobia? Yes. Achapne bata diya. Sir, eight. Uh, Miss Aisha? Mm. Sir, six. Uh, Mr. Ahmed Bajwa scored? Sir, seven. Okay. Miss Tassin scored? Six. 
अब ये आ, ये एक एग्जाम है और आपका होमवर्क है कि आपने थर्सडे तक किसी के तीनों एग्जाम्स करने हैं एंड यू विल टेल मी व्हाट सर आपकी भी आवाज कट रही है आवाज आ रही है हेलो सर हेलो कट रही है सर आवाज यस सर बारी आवाज ये नहीं आ रही यस सर आ रही है आ रही है वीडियो में आ रही है सर यस सर आ रही है सर ओके लेट्स मूव टू सेक्शन नंबर फोर सेक्शन फोर यू हेयर टॉक ऑन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द अर्बन लैंडस्केप First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I have been asked today to talk to you about the urban landscape. There are two major areas that I will focus on in my talk: how vegetation can have a significant effect on urban climate, and how we can better plan our cities using trees to provide a more comfortable environment for us to live in. Trees can have a significant impact on our cities. They can make a city as a whole a bit less windy or a bit more windy if that's what you want. They can make it a bit cooler if it's a hot summer day in an Australian city, or they can make it a bit more humid if it's a dry inland city. On the local scale, that is in particular areas within the city, trees can make the local area more shady. cooler more humid and much less windy in fact trees and planting of various kinds can be used to make city streets actually less dangerous in particular areas how do trees do all that you ask well the main difference between a tree and a building is a tree has got an internal mechanism to keep the temperature regulated it evaporates water through its leaves and that means that the temperature of the leaves is never very far from our own body temperature the temperature of a building surface on a hot sunny day can easily be 20 degrees more than our temperature trees on the other hand remain cooler than buildings because they sweat this means that they can humidify the air and cool it a property which can be exploited to improve the local climate trees can also help break the force of winds the reason that high buildings make it windier at ground level is that as the wind goes higher and higher it goes faster and faster when the wind hits the building it has to go somewhere some of it goes over the top and some goes around the sides of the building forcing those high level winds down to ground level that doesn't happen when you have trees trees filter the wind and considerably reduce it preventing those very large strong gusts that you so often find around tall buildings another problem in built up areas is that traffic noise is intensified by tall buildings By planting a belt of trees at the side of the road you can make things a little quieter but much of the vehicle noise still goes through the trees trees can also help reduce the amount of noise in the surroundings 
although the effect is not as large as people like to think. Low frequency noise in particular just goes through the trees as though they aren't there. Although trees can significantly improve the local climate, they do, however, take up a lot of space. There are root systems to consider and branches blocking windows and so on. It may therefore be difficult to fit trees into the local landscape. There is not a great deal you can do if you have what we call a street canyon, a whole set of high rises enclosed in a narrow street. Trees need water to grow. They also need some sunlight to grow and you need room to put them. If you have the chance of knocking buildings down and replacing them, then suddenly you can start looking at different ways to design the streets and to introduce... That is the end of section four. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Thirty-one cities environment. Either of these would be right. Cities or environment. Thirty-two windy. Thirty-three humid. Thirty-four shady. Thirty-five dangerous. That is the end of the listening test. Thirty-five dangerous, thirty-six leaves, thirty-seven ground, thirty-eight considerably reduce, decrease or filter, thirty-nine low, forty space room. Sir, forty again. Forty. Space. Four room. Sir, sunlight. 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 Sun
you just uh, was upar wale likhe hue hain candidate number of work so you don't have to be worried about those ye sari cheeze wo aapke liye karke denge yes sir okay now i want you to tell me your score out of 40 29 yes everyone tell me the score the 30 30 जिनका इंटरप्ट हो गया तो उनको बताने की जरूरत नहीं है बाकी जिनका एग्जाम हो गया वो बताएं। नाउ आई वांट यू टू गो टू द फेसबुक पेज और उधर एक इमेज मैंने आपके साथ शेयर की है जिसका नाम है बैंड कैलकुलेटर आप इससे देख सकते हैं कि आपका स्कोर कितना बनता है आउट ऑफ फोर्टी तो लिस्निंग जो है लिस्निंग इज दिस्निंग इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम फॉर एकेडमिक एंड जनरल ट्रेनिंग लिस्निंग का एक ही एग्जाम होता है तो सबसे ऊपर वाले टेबल को आप देखें अगर आपका स्कोर 30 आ रहा है इसका मतलब है आपका सेवन बैंड है इफ यू आर गेटिंग 29 इट मींस यू गॉट 6.5 प्लीज टेक आउट दिस ओपन दिस पेज व्हिच आई हैव जस्ट शेयर्ड यस सर ओके जनरल ट्रेनिंग नहीं आपने आपने जनरल ट्रेनिंग वाले को नहीं देखना क्योंकि लिसनिंग जो है वो जनरल ट्रेनिंग और एकेडमिक इसका दोनों का एक होता है ये जनरल ट्रेनिंग वाला वो रीडिंग का उसने दिया हुआ डिफरेंट और एकेडमिक का रीडिंग डिफरेंट दिया हुआ स्कोरिंग ओके फॉर द लिसनिंग पार्ट इट इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम एग्जाम तो आपका जो भी स्कोर आया है वो आपने उस पर पुट करना है और देखना है कि आपका बैंक स्कोर कितना बनता है राइट सर ओके नाउ यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट इट टेस्ट नंबर टू थ्री एंड फोर आर गोइंग टू बी टेस्ट टेस्ट टू थ्री फोर आर गोइंग टू बी योर टास्क आई नाउ वॉन्ट यू to go to page 51 and mr faraz is going to tell me what type of question is this page 51 okay sir okay. 51 ये किस किस्म का क्वेश्चन है सर ये इसमें टू क्वेश्चंस हैं 
आप मुझे पहले क्वेश्चन टाइप बताएं सर हाइब्रिड वेरी गुड आई नाउ वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू डू ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन I'm giving you 10 minutes. उसके बाद में ये क्वेश्चन आपके साथ बोर्ड पे डिस्कस करूंगा The question is, okay, sir. Happiness is considered very important in life. Why is it difficult to define what factors are important in achieving happiness? Mr. Faraz has said, but I he told it correctly that it is not agree disagree. Both use advantages disadvantages problem for the solution. This is a hybrid question. For a hybrid question, for every type of question, which is hybrid, the format will change. Structure can be defined. नहीं होता. बाकियों का defined होता है. इसका नहीं होता, right? Yes, sir. Okay. You're you're having ten minutes to do brainstorming, and then I would be asking each one of you about this topic, and we would be discussing it. Why it is difficult to define? Why it is difficult to define?
Shall we start? Sure, sir. Oh, you guys want more time? Okay, fine. Five minutes are left. Mr. Ahmed Bajwa, you are going to answer this question. Happiness is considered very important in life. Why is it difficult to define it? Right, sir. Sir, uh, in topics to define karna. Hundred percent, I don't think it's different. Paragraphs may answer. Okay. Why is it difficult to define happiness? Well, sir, uh, in my opinion, everyone has uh, its own definition of happiness. We are uh, almost thirteen people here. Everyone has its own definition of happiness. So, uh, to start with it, maybe. Very good. Some of us. Ek reason, iska ek reason ho sakta hai, ke there are many definitions of happiness. People tend yes. to define happiness according to their own experiences and according to their own expectations. So yes, sir. And, and according to their own inner satisfaction. Yes, experiences and expectations. Okay, what else? Oh, yeah, uh, why could why is it so hard to define happiness? Mr. Ahmed Baja. Yes, sir. Why is it very hard to define it? Sir, sir, we took many 
दो टॉपिक्स पे ब्रेनस्टॉर्मिंग की थी बाकी अच्छा ये आपकी मर्जी है कि आप इनमें से दो यूज कर लें या इनमें से सिर्फ एक को ही आप डेवलप कर लें वो आपकी मर्जी है व्हाई इज इट डिफिकल्ट टू डिफाइन ओके सर नॉट क्वांटिफाइबल दुनिया में कोई भी चीज है जिसके अंदर क्वांटिटी नहीं है उसको डिफाइन करना बहुत आसान होता है फॉर इंस्टेंस एक गांव में एक बंदा अपने आप को अमीर समझ रहा है तो वो अपने मुताबिक खुश है कि मैं अमीर हूं या मैं मैं वेल्दी हूं तो शायद किसी और की नजर में उस बंदे के पास कुछ भी ना हो आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट यस सर यस सर यस सर इज नॉट क्वांटिफाइबल आप ये कह सकते हैं कि yes, के पास ये पांच गाड़ियां हैं इसके पास दस जहाज है तो ये खुश है इसके पास इतने बच्चे हैं इसके पास ये चीज है तो ये खुश है वो चीज डिफाइन ही नहीं हो सकती क्योंकि वो हर बंदे के लिए डिफरेंट होती है हर बंदे के हर बंदे की एक्सपेक्टेशन डिफरेंट होती है फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ समन हैज सफर्ड अ लॉट एंड देन दैट पर्सन अक्वायर्ड एजुकेशन गॉट अ वेरी गुड जॉब दैट पर्सन माइट बी वेरी हैप्पी डिपेंडिंग ऑन वट एवर ही वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग पर हैप्स ही हैड लॉस सो मच दैट जस्ट टू गेन वेरी लेस Or something which gave him immense pleasure and happiness. That is the reason it is very hard to yes. define happiness. Fine. Yes, sir. Acha. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, Mr. Fazan, you are going to tell me the factors which lead to happiness. This may be ye hai ki aapko एक ही आइडिया एक पैराग्राफ में लिखना पड़ेगा आपको दो दो आइडियाज नहीं लिखने पड़ेंगे अगर आप इसके अंदर दो फैक्टर्स बता सकते हैं जिसकी वजह से इंसान खुश हो सकता है मिस्टर फैजान व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट वन सर द मेन फैक्टर आई थिंक इज लेस एक्सपेक्टेशन बिकॉज इफ यू पुट more expectation into something like a kind of work a kind of uh, it, it can be anything a kind of relationship with gratitude gratitude yes sir duniya mein jitne bhi mazhab hain wo balki hamare mazhab mein islam mein to bahut zyada hai ki aap thankful ho jo bhi aapko mil raha hai sabr shukr jisko kehte hain gratitude aisi cheez hai jiski wajah se aap hamesha khush rehte hain thankful मतलब किसी ने आपको एक चीज भी बता दी तो आप उसके से नाराज ना हो आप उसके लिए आप उसके लिए ग्रेटफुल हो जो लोग जो जितना मिल रहा होता है उस पर ग्रेटफुल होते हैं वो तो हमेशा खुश रहते हैं तो जो आप कह रहे हैं ना एक्सपेक्टेशंस जो लोग ग्रेटिट्यूड होते हैं जो थैंकफुल होते हैं वट एवर दे आर गेटिंग दे टेन टू बी हैविंग दे टेन टू हैव लेस प्योर एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट इज द रीजन दे आर है Yes, right? it would be more clear if we use the word gratitude. See, gratitude एक एक तो आपकी vocabulary के लिए बहुत अच्छा हो जाएगा. अब मैं आपको एक बड़ा exactly. अच्छा बताता हूँ कि हम हमारे मुल्क में gratitude नहीं है. मतलब आप अगर किसी दूसरे बंदे को इज्जत दे रहे हैं, तो वो इज्जत दे दें. कम से कम आप उसकी बेइज्जती तो नहीं कर रहे. अगर आप यही चीज gratitude जो है um, इसलिए मैं नहीं बता रहा कि मैं इस मुल्क में गया हूँ मतलब हमें हमें लगता है अमेरिका वाले जो है वो आ, हमारे बहुत खिलाफ है अमेरिका में ग्रेटिट्यूड है वो पोलाइट है जैसे कनाडा के लोग हैं ना मैं तीन साल कनाडा रहा हूँ तो कनाडा के जैसे लोग होते हैं वैसे ही होते हैं मगर दुनिया के सबसे अच्छे लोग जो बहुत थैंकफुल होते हैं वो मैंने देखे हैं थाईलैंड में अगर आप थाईलैंड को लाहौर से कंपेयर करें ना तो आप ये कहेंगे कि मैं लाहौर में दस दिन फिर लू इतना डर्टी है थाईलैंड उसकी रोड उसका वो हाँ आप बहुत अच्छे होटल्स में ये नहीं है कि अच्छे या बुरे होटल्स का बहुत अच्छे होटल्स हैं वो बहुत अच्छे हैं मगर उनके जो अंदर जो उनकी बाहर की जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है ना वो इतना डेवलप नहीं है जितना हमारे मुल्क का है मगर आप ये देखें बैंकॉक जो है इट इज द मोस्ट विजिटेड सिटी इन द वर्ल्ड तो मैं हमेशा समझता था पता नहीं वहां पे क्या होगा उधर सिर्फ एक चीज है कि अगर आप किसी को आप फाइव बात एक भी दे रहे हैं तो वो आपके लिए इतना थैंकफुल होगा 
कि आप कहेंगे हाँ ऐसा एस, बिहेवियर होना चाहिए बंदे का तो बिकॉज ऑफ द वे दे बिहेव और वहां पे कोई इतनी कोई खास चीज नहीं है सो यू कैन गिव एग्जाम्पल अ वर्ड सर द बैंक ऑफ एग्जाम्पल आप ये कह सकते हैं कि वो लोग जो ग्रेटिट्यूड दिखाते हैं एक रिसर्च से पता लगे कि वहां के लोगों में बहुत ज्यादा दे शो लॉट ऑफ ग्रेटिट्यूड Not only those people are happy, but those people who visit those city, those uh, those uh, that country or that city is are very happy because they tend to show a lot of respect. अब आपको एक example मिल गया. Okay, yes, now uh, Miss uh, Aisha will tell me what other factors can lead to happiness. Sir, I guess. Um... Good health. Health. Very good. Or health. कैसे आपको happy रख सकती है? So if someone is healthy, he surely will enjoy every moment of life. He can go wherever he want mm -hmm. and enjoy uh, or eat whatever he likes. अच्छा ये health. देखिए health एक ऐसी चीज है. जिसकी हमें वी टेन टू वैल्यू इट वेन वी लूज इट वेन हेल्थ विल डिटोरिएट ओनली देन वी विल वैल्यू इट आपकी हेल्थ बुरी होती जा रही है तब आप कहेंगे हाँ बहुत बुरा हो गया मगर आपको जब मिल भी जाएगी ना आप खुश नहीं होंगे आप देख लेना दो तीन दिन खुश होंगे फिर आप कहेंगे तो नॉर्मल है बट स्टिल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट इट यू कैन जरूरी नहीं होता इट इज नॉट ने आप बहुत महंगे रेस्टोरेंट में गए हो और आप खुश हो अगर आप अपने कजन के साथ अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ गए हैं तो वो मोमेंट्स आप हमेशा याद रखते हैं yes, ये जो सोशल कनेक्शन होते हैं ना दे आर दे आर सोर्स ऑफ हैप्पीनेस। आपको खाना भूल जाएगा आपको भूल जाएगा कि क्या किया था हमने बट यू विल रिमेम्बर ऑल दो रिलेटेड टू डार्क थिंग when you are having good social connections with people it could be at your office up office mein for instance aap har thurs mujhe yaad aata hai ke pehle do ab main 10 saal se padha raha hu to pehle do teen saalon mein na jab bhi koi whenever someone used to get a lower band kam kam marks aate the to usko thursday ko khana leke aana hota tha pehle students kam hote the 7 8 hote the fir हर क्लास में 30, 35 वर्ड तो फिर वो काम इतना करना होता है कि हमें ऐसी चीजें नहीं कर सकते मगर उस टाइम के जितने भी मेरे स्टूडेंट्स थे 2010 से 2013, 14 तो वो हर वक्त खुश ही रहते थे बिकॉज वी यूज टू शेयर सोशल बॉन्ड ओके सर तो यू ऑल हैव टू सबमिट दिस ऐसे राइट नाउ ये ऐसे आपने अभी सबमिट करना है कल तक क्योंकि मैंने इसी ऐसे की आपके साथ डिस्कशन कल करनी है और आई एम गोइंग टू हैव अ राइटिंग टास्क टू डिस्कशन क्लास जो आपकी राइटिंग टास्क वन की भी थी और ये वाली भी थी राइट हो गए सर ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट पार्ट गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट पेज describe an interest or hobby that you enjoy you should say look at speaking part 2 i want I'm going to give you guys 2 minutes and then i would require each one of you to send me an answer on this question abhi send karna chahte hai mere phone pe ya fir main abhi karwa lu sir abhi karwa start kare 
सर दोबारा बता दें क्वेश्चन प्लीज अगले पेज पे जाए आप इसी बुक के आगे पेज पे जाए स्पीकिंग पार्ट जी डिस्क्राइब एन इंटरेस्ट और हॉबी डेट यू एंजॉय यू शुड से हाउ यू बिकेम इंटरेस्टेड इन इट हाउ लॉन्ग यू हैव बीन डूइंग इट एंड व्हाई यू एंजॉयड इट एक्सप्लेन व्हाट बेनिफिट्स यू गेट फ्रॉम दिस इंटरेस्ट और हॉबी ओके सर Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, my internet connection just got crash, and I just came back and and join rejoined the session. Uh, so kindly repeat the task which you have done given to us. Go to page. Go to page number fifty-two. Look at speaking part two. Each one of you has to speak on this topic for one minute, and I would be giving you a score for it. Now, please. मिस्टेक्स को करेक्ट नहीं करूंगा मगर आज मैं आप लोगों को हर एक को स्कोर दे दूंगा कहां पे है आपके पार्टी ओके सर ओके मिस्टर पराग स्टार्ट ओके सर सर द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग हॉबी दैट आई हैव इज बुक रीडिंग रिलेटेड टू माय ओन फील्ड which is accounting and finance um i am habitual of uh, reading uh, articles the uh, new uh, books related to uh, this topic uh, one of uh, one of my friend has uh, suggested me uh, to uh, to read some books uh, related to uh, finance or uh, finance related books so i uh, i started to uh, read that book uh, because uh, due to the reason that finance is my uh, own field so uh, it is i uh, i feel myself more indulged uh, in the, uh, in the uh, in that field and uh, i thought that i can uh, hone my uh, skills uh, by reading those books and by implementing these uh, financial rules uh, to on practical uh, uh, on practical things uh, like in my office uh, official tasks so it's it's about 2 uh, to 3 years back when i have started when i have started to read that books uh, and uh, i feel that i feel that uh, my uh, educational excellence or my uh, financial uh, i can achieve more financial excellence uh, by reading those books because uh, if the if some uh, if something is is your own interest then you can uh, uh, endeavor your and or it in uh, good in a good manner okay uh aapko kya lagta hai ki aap is isko better kar sakte the sir bilkul kar sakta tha abhi main isko prepare kar raha tha wo jo pehla wala part hai na pehle jo aapne shuru kiya hai tab to wo bahut zyada mujhe weak laga hai magar jaise jaise aap bol rahe hain na to aapki grip aati ja rahi hai is pe to okay sir so, so, to 6.5 dunga पहले मैंने सिक्स देना था मगर आपका दूसरा पार्ट जो था वो सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव पे था 
Okay, sir. Miss Sophia, start. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Uh, recently, I have uh, I had uh, developed interest towards art and craft activities. Uh, uh, furthermore, I uh, I make worksheets and simply download them uh, for my kids. And uh, 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 moreover, I had joined uh, many groups on uh, social media, and I saw many videos about that, and uh, so that I got interest in this work and uh, I enjoyed a lot while doing so uh, because uh, my kids also got involved uh, with me and we always had very much fun uh, 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 in every uh, episode of crafting and painting and uh, uh, they are also uh, uh, kids are also um, learning day by day and uh, I am happy uh, that uh, definitely they will uh, also uh, get their interest towards these activities and uh, uh, they will adopt this activity as their uh, hobby. Ms. Sobia, what do you think that you have said your potential? No, sir. नहीं बोला नहीं आपका स्कोर यहाँ पे 5.5 बनेगा जबकि आप 6.57 टच करती हैं आपने जब आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट का बताया है यू हैड टू 5.5 टू 6 के ऊपर है 5.5 जो था वो पहले था फिर थोड़ा बहुत बेहतर हुआ वो बट द थिंग इज यू हैड टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग व्हिच इज ऑफ इंटरेस्ट टू यू और समथिंग अबाउट व्हिच यू हैव सम नॉलेज अपने आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट से स्टार्ट तो किया था अगर आपने उस आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट को ज़्यादा डिटेल भी नहीं बताया उसके बेनिफिट क्या हो सकते हैं इस हॉबी के आपके आप इन व्हाट फील्ड हैव यू डन योर एजुकेशन आपने किस फील्ड में की हुई अपनी एजुकेशन सब प्लांट पैथोलॉजी में सॉरी सब प्लांट पैथोलॉजी प्लांट एंथोलॉजी पैथोलॉजी पैथोलॉजी ये क्या चीज Plant diseases. Plants. Yes, sir. Plant diseases and their cure. So you have to gardening का बड़ा अच्छा बता सकती थी. Yes. और आपकी vocabulary आपकी vocabulary gardening की इतनी अच्छी होती कि आपका score seven point five को touch करता. आपने gardening के बारे में hobby बना के मुझे भेजे हैं आप इस class के बाद. ठीक है? Okay, sir. Voice message जो है ना आप मुझे phone पे भेज देने. Okay, next question, Ms. Samuel Bajwa. Are you there? I believe he's not there. Mr. Fezan. Yes, sir. Sir, the thing I enjoyed the most of find interesting is the watching seasons. Uh, uh, because uh, if, if I talk, okay, Mr. Fazan, I or when I when I started watching seasons. Uh, Okay, please continue. Your voice was very cut. Yes. Yeah, continue. Sir, so there was an internet connection issue throughout the session. So, yes. today they are it's getting worse. Okay, you can do a job. Hello? Yes, you can do a job. Yes, sir. You can record it and send me a phone. Sir, sir, the sound is very loud. Sir, you can do a job. आज कट रही है। हाँ, आप एक काम करें, आप सब रिकॉर्डिंग करके मुझे फोन पे भेजें, क्योंकि मुझे अब किसी की आवाज नहीं आ रही। हेलो सर, आवाज नहीं आ रही सर। ओके सर। हमें मतलब